Hey guys, Chase Dog. Um, today I'm going to do a cold start on the uh, mud mower. Is that 79? Yeah. And that's my harvester, Club Cadet. It's uh, been a while since I made a video, but um, got my little cameraman right there. He's gonna record uh. All the stuff that I'm doing, I'm going to pass it over to him, uh, do a quick overview of it. 12-inch uh, Super Swampers on the back. Uh, let's see, let's see where they are. Get the Swamper. They are TSL ATVs, ATV tires. There we go with the number. It's a... Uh, Oh, you can't read that. It's uh, 22 by 12 by 50 and, and 8 inches for the wheel diameter. Three speed transmission. Uh, I don't, I can't tell you what kind of rear end that is, but uh, that's the way the belt's driven. A twist right there in the middle. Uh, I've never seen anything like that before, but it works. Uh, 12 and a half horsepower overhead valve, uh, industrial commercial overhead valve. Did a valve adjustment on it uh, about a month ago, and that's the last time I've actually done anything with it. Um, that is where the battery goes now. It uh, used to go underneath the gas tank. But uh, right now I don't have a battery, so I'm jumping it off the Jeep. And so uh, I guess he's over there playing, so I'm going to try to do this myself. Just bear with me. It runs pretty good. It's really quiet. I mean, right now it might not sound like it's quiet, but it's pretty quiet when it. There we go. But yeah, like I said, it, it runs pretty quiet once it's done warmed up and everything. I did um, put see because I don't have any weight on the front. I added, uh, I had put some water in the tires, but it's just regular 15 by 6 by 6 just tires. I'm going to take y'all for a ride along. Let's get this put it down for a minute. Let's go for a little test drive. I have a hood right now. I can't find one. So yeah. That's the gear. That's the gear I usually drive in. I get this thing to do a wheeling. 
Uh, I just came back from Walmart, and had to get gas. And then, uh, before Walmart, I put some water in the tires in the front, so maybe the thing won't go too high. Yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. Grind it to a fist. Put this in a little bit higher gear. There we go. Told you it did wheelies. Uh, it was pretty good though. It uh, used to backfire a lot, and uh, that's why I adjust the valve. And I adjusted them to a four thousandth of an inch on uh, both the intake and the exhaust. So it runs pretty good now. Uh, let's see if I see if I can do it again real quick. I did add some, uh, that, uh, that's, uh, garden edging, I think. But I got that idea from Fearless Front. He, uh, he's always got a bunch of good ideas. I'm going to show you the racing lawnmower. Now, don't be judging. I know. Right now it looks pretty rough, but, uh, it's just because I'm getting ready to do a pulley swap and... It's not in the best of shape. I flipped it over about two months ago. 
and it, it really it really screwed it up. Here you go. Show it to you. Yeah, the front's kind of banged up a little bit. I'm going to try to find a new front. Probably just going to take the whole thing off. Right now it's got a uh, 18 and a horse, 18 and a half horsepower twin two. That is a V twin, industrial commercial version Stratton. Uh, model number, you really can't see that. I'll read it off to you. It is a 42A707. And uh, yeah, the body is lower three inches. Sorry about the view on the back. But uh, that's just because I got the transaxle out of the back. Uh, see what happened was I cut that part right there out and then I should uh, shave the fenders off three inches and that three inches right there I can't really lower the body because of the way the front end is so it's just gonna have to stay like that and I'll just have to get smaller tires I did go to tractor supply and get a smaller tire for that size and I couldn't find another one because they didn't have another one in stock this tire size right here um, make of it is a it's spelled K E N D A. Kenda, I think that's what it is. Get that tire size for you. Thing full of mud. Uh, buddy took this out with me the other day. And uh, you weren't mudding. It is a 13 by 6, 50 by 6. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to put on this side over here, too. Because that one over there just stuck. Uh, nothing else. I don't have a gas pedal or anything else like that because I haven't got a welder yet. Because uh, all it is right now is just a little. Um, let's see. I don't know what. I don't know if this is a peerless transmission. It is a six-speed though. That's where I'm gonna be. Um, got my pulley. Right. Well, before it started out to be, uh, let's see, uh, the front was four and three quarters, and the rear was, okay, the front was five and three quarters, the rear was, I'm trying to think now, three and a half. Three and a half was the rear. So I'm going to go up to a seven in the front. And a two and a half in the rear. That ought to get me right where I want to be. But uh, I'm sorry for all the updates and everything like that. I just haven't had the time to even remotely be on YouTube. I, I have uh, been on there for the last couple of days, but I haven't even got a chance to put up a video. This should be the video today. Uh, here is another thing I'm going to add to that mud mower. It is a uh, Pro Victor knobby tire. It is a 22 by 11 by 8. Uh, I think I'm gonna put that on that front over there. I gotta lift up, not lift up, but lower the front because uh, lower the front, you can put bigger tires on it, and it won't. The front won't be like that. You see. So if you lower the front, you can put bigger tires on it and be level. But that's all I have for today. I'll keep y'all posted on everything else. And uh, look for more videos to come on this right here. It's got a six-foot boom in the back with a winch. And, uh, I'm still looking for a hood. I do have the grill. I'll show you that real quick. The grill for the front is uh, right over here. It uh, was on there, and I cut the welds off. Somebody else had that for me. I didn't build that. Somebody else built it. I just created them a racing lawnmower for it. But, yeah, see, this is the grill. Pretty beefy. It's got a piece of uh, angle iron right there and that thick mesh. It should be pretty beefy. The thing weighs, like, I'm saying about 20 pounds or so, 20, 25 pounds. So yeah, that's just slide up underneath the front. But, um, should be moving here 
in the next month or so, hopefully. And I'll be able to post more videos, be doing everything because uh, I had to move all my lawnmowers over to my friend's house, and this is where I'm at now. And landlord over there at the trailer park. He's he, he's not lawnmower crazy like I am, and I love lawnmowers. So I mean, I love to do anything with them. But he's not. He's not too crazy about them. He told me to get him out of there, or he would. So I took him over to my buddy's house and just haven't had time to really even do anything with them. But I will keep y'all guys posted and uh, let's see. Uh, the next couple of days is supposed to be pretty nice, so I might get some more videos in. All right, I'll catch y'all later. So take care.